Hello, good day. We are here again with a new replay. In this case, it's a ranked game with the tier 9 German Premium DD set 44. This ship was one of the first German DDs Premium and from the regular branch. It sacrificed the acoustic search in exchange for a faster torpedo reload and a longer range torpedoes. Basically, it trades the gimmick of the original DD line. Remember that days when no other DDs carried the acoustic search and it was a quite useful tool to hunt another DDs, they hide in the smoke, you could get close to them, start the hydro, and you were you put your own smoke and kill them very very easily. The ship traded that ability for those long ranger torpedoes and faster reload. At the beginning the ship was a very big disappointment to me because losing the Trademark plate of this kind of ship it was very difficult to get good games with it but using it as a pure DD tor torpedo is very 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 reward the torpedoes do not get high damage but the fast reload it gets below the minute in very very few hits when you lose if you have adrenaline rush make you a torpedo stamp pammer here we are contesting this cup against another dd And you see, the spotting range is more or less standard. And here is fighting against the flexor. The guns are not bad, but it's not the main weapon for this ship. Everybody has better reload than you. And Perhaps the best weapon is the AP shell that, as in all German DDs, does a lot of damage. The second torpedo barrage, where the smoke is. And as you can see, with all, with all the its people lost, now reload is very very fast it falls below nearly below the full minute the Fletcher is dead we have meinen gegnerischen Zerstörer versenkt perhaps one of the basic mistakes when you are contending a cup is you always have to part your ship bow on, always bow on to give the smallest target possible to the oncoming torpedoes. If you park on the broadside, you certainly will eat some torpedoes if there is any enemy DD nearby. Now, reloading, we are picking the next target. That is the pommer. As you can see, now reload is just a minute four seconds. You can spam torpedoes nearly every minute. Ten torpedoes. I said not very high alpha damage. Three K only, but they are quite stealthy. 
and make a lot of nasty surprise from time to time. The poor Mero has avoided them, but now he's focused on fighting the Soviet Soyuz. He's trying to close the ranks to put the secondaries in action. Not a bad idea, but he's not using his hydro and knowing there is Eddie on her flank, he should be much more cautious than he's doing. When with the torpedo running, I put a smoke screen and take some quick shots. He's so focused on the Sobeski Soyuz that simply he will eat the torpedo. The torps are flooding. And now we have a small AP pool edge and the caps. But the game is not win. They enter one of our caps and start to close the gap. I take a star next target, the Agir, but he's too far away and soon he will cover himself with the Iceland. A good movement. He has noticed that all of our ships are to the side of the Icelands, so he takes a safe place. Another contender appears, this time is the Kitakas. He's going for the easy kill, the Sobeski Soyuz. I, this is a kind of ship I want never try to try shots with him. He outguns any other DD with his faster reload and has an HP pool that allows him to trade blows with any gunboat. He has killed the Sovetsky Soyuz and now I will try to lure him into attack me. I put that torps in her prevailing course. Wait until he gets on my spotting range and start some shoots. Now this is the trick. He moves to clear the arcs of fire for his rear guns and that makes me hit with the torpedo because he puts himself in the path of the oncoming torpedo. He did a big mistake trying to get the rear guns into firing angle and pace it dearly. Third kill of the game. And now the only problem is the caps. They still have two caps and will be go ahead in the points. Very soon. So I hurry to get the point B and close the gap in victory points. My team is holding back quite too much. They are always in that line, do not carry to push forward, but in this kind of games, controlling the caps is very important. 
is not the first game that is lost even with a high number of ships advantage by not taking the caps. So I rush to the cap. As you can see, they get forward after killing the bomber. And now the situation is pretty tight for us. I rush to get the cup and stop the bleeding points. Meanwhile, I hope the Alaska will kill the Agir. It should be an easy kill for him, no matter explosives or AP shells used. We are ahead again, but we need to pick one of the cups to make sure we stay ahead. Machine boost deactivated. Now, with the cup in our hands this time will be safer I must confess that in this game I get a bit greedy I want there a fourth kill and risk it too much to get it. I tried it before with the Rochester. Unser Sieg ist in Sicht. Nebelwerfer gestartet. And the next one is trying with the Freder Gross. Now the game is a safe victory. Even if the Freder Gross can get into this cup, we have enough advantage to win the game. I try to get some extra damage points In a few seconds I will pay the price for being too greedy. I wanted an extra kill. You see I get out of the smoke before it was over because at 6 km it's the acoustic sex will count me and I prefer to, to have a little head away. But in a while, he will kill me very easily, but by then the game is secure. And even if he enters the cup, it will be a victory. He finally ends me, but Tactically speaking, was a very good game. Getting the Fletcher just as the start of the game and luring the Kitakaze in the path of the oncoming torpedoes was a very, very nice kill. I hope you enjoyed this replay. Please subscribe to my channel.
拜拜。I mean the Frederick bye bye.